Jason Zweig, Your Money and Your Brain. In his groundbreaking book, Your Money and Your Brain, Jason Zweig explores how our brains influence our financial decisions and the factors that contribute to successful investing. Challenging the conventional wisdom that knowledge and hard work lead to investing success, Zweig highlights the impact of human emotions, intuition, perceptions, and cognitive biases on investors. With a focus on understanding the importance of the reflexive, lower, and reflective, upper, brain, Zweig offers practical tips to harness both systems for better investment decisions. Filled with psychological insights and real-life examples, this summary will provide you with an understanding of the science behind effective financial decision-making and reveal strategies to help you become a more informed and rational investor. Investing Beyond Rationality Investing success requires emotional intelligence, not just rational analysis. Despite the common belief that understanding and hard work lead to success, evidence shows otherwise. Factors like emotions, intuition, and perceptions hardwired in the human brain can influence financial decisions. The book argues that investors can use emotions to their advantage, instead of opposing them, if they know how to harness them effectively. Investment Tips for Using Your Whole Brain Unlock your inner investor with reflexive and reflective thinking. Have you ever felt unsure about an investment decision, but went through with it anyway? According to this book, you might not be using both sides of your brain effectively. While the idea of having a left and right brain might be popular, the real distinction is between the reflexive and reflective brain. The reflexive system, which is located under the cerebral cortex, is responsible for directing attention to things only when they present a significant threat or opportunity. On the other hand, the reflective system operates in the prefrontal cortex and is used for analytical and planning tasks. To be a successful investor, the book provides some tips on how to use both systems together. The first tip is to trust your feelings and intuition. While logical analysis is key, intuition allows you to process behavioral cues that can be missed. Trust your feelings if they warn you against a particular investment or advisor. The second tip is to understand your reflexes and emotional responses. During extreme bull or bear markets, emotions and reflexes can be powerful, so it's important to engage your analytical reflective system and to be wary of your instincts. The third tip is to question your judgments repeatedly. The reflexive brain may portray decisions in ways that are easy for it to process, but such depictions may be inappropriate. The fourth tip is to test your assumptions and try to disprove your beliefs. This is a powerful technique for assessing and double-checking your decisions. Finally, use common sense to evaluate financial advertising claims. Set formal rules for your investments and follow them consistently. According to the book, there is nothing that makes smart people feel as stupid as investing. However, by using both systems of your brain, you can improve your chances of making successful investments. Trust your instincts, analyze your reflexes, question your judgments, test your assumptions, and use common sense to evaluate financial claims. By following these tips, you can unlock the full potential of your brain power as an investor. Anticipation versus Satisfaction in the Stock Market The anticipation of financial rewards is more powerful than the satisfaction of receiving them, according to laboratory studies. This can affect the stock market as companies' announcements of future plans can cause stocks to soar in anticipation but plummet after the goal is accomplished. This eagerness for financial gain is commonly known as greed, and it can lead to risky investments and financial loss. To manage this emotion, investors should temper their anticipation with skepticism, avoid chasing after past successes, only invest in businesses they understand, set limits on risky investments, be aware of triggers that increase greed, carefully consider investment decisions, and prioritize experiences over material possessions. Remember, money doesn't buy happiness, but happiness can make you richer. Stock Market Investing Realities Many investors believe that by doing sufficient research, they can successfully predict the stock market. However, 
this is simply untrue due to three reasons. Firstly, the market price already reflects everyone's predictions. Secondly, transaction costs and taxes can diminish profits. Finally, the random movement of market prices makes pattern prediction impossible. Investors can, however, deal with the dissonance between the reality and their expectations by applying an investment strategy that focuses on facts and evidence, and avoids random predictions based on whims. This requires exercising control over transaction costs, taxes, and risks, and establishing an investment discipline, like regularly investing a specific amount without making arbitrary decisions. Lastly, one must differentiate between correlation and causality, and be able to take a step back from focusing on data too much to mitigate the natural human tendency to create patterns where there are none. Investing wisely. Research shows that our perception of our capabilities and our trust and familiarity can often mislead us in our investing decisions. The illusion of control also makes us more comfortable than a lack of it. To avoid these pitfalls, it is essential to admit what we do not know, diversify our investments, and discount our expectations of financial gain. Be realistic and don't buy a stock just because you know the company's products. Conduct reflective and analytical research and always ask why, then ask why again. Keep a diary of your investments and check whether performance correlates with your emotions. Remember, it's impossible to invest without making mistakes, but it's possible to stop kicking yourself when you make them. Avoiding the pitfalls in investment. Research indicates that our overconfidence, familiarity, and illusion of control can mislead investors when making financial decisions. To avoid these pitfalls, we should admit what we don't know, diversify, and follow a reflective, analytical process when investing. The investing world is riddled with pitfalls that can make financial decision making a daunting task. As humans, we tend to be prone to overconfidence placing a more significant degree of trust in our capabilities than is justifiable. As a result, we may exaggerate success and minimize failures. Familiarity is our innate tendency to have favorable feelings when exposed to something repeatedly. In experiments, researchers found that people tend to have favorable feelings towards nonsense words or unfamiliar symbols that they hear or see repeatedly. People also experience the illusion of control, where the mere appearance of control can make them feel comfortable, even if the control is meaningless. In studies of brain activity, researchers established that people prefer their choices, even when it comes to a random choice. Although there is no difference in results or mathematical probabilities between two random choices, we tend to lean towards our choices. Investors can sidestep these pitfalls by admitting what they do not know. We should follow the example of Warren Buffett, who ignores investment proposals he cannot understand. We need to discount our expectations of financial gain and magnify our estimates of probable losses to minimize the risk of overconfident decisions. Diversification is our best protection against market disaster, and we should not buy a stock simply because we know a company's products. Investors are encouraged to think like four-year-olds, always asking why, and keep a diary of investments. By doing this, we can track our performance and learn from our mistakes to improve future performance. With these safeguards, investing becomes a calculated, reflective, and analytical process that helps us make informed decisions. The Art of Managing Risk The perception of risk is far from objective, and investors who base their decisions solely on their risk tolerance may be setting themselves up for failure. The truth is, we often have no idea how much risk we can handle, how our risk aversion may change over time, and how social factors may sway our judgment. Understanding these psychological quirks and biases is crucial to managing risk effectively. By taking the time to thoroughly evaluate investment decisions, studying financial history, and setting clear rules and goals, we can make better decisions when faced with uncertainty. Additionally, Seeking out opposing arguments and opinions can help us refine our own investment theses and avoid blind spots. Overall, the key to become a successful investor is to fully understand your own tendencies and biases, and to make decisions based on facts rather than emotions or misperceptions. Tackling Investment Fears 
fear is contagious and can be triggered by facial expressions, body language or words. The amygdala, a brain region linked to fear, becomes active when threatened. The thought of losing money also causes fear. People can behave irrationally due to uncertainty. To overcome investment fears, reframe your thoughts by describing the situation in your own words, take deep breaths, and be mindful of the crowd's effect on you. By shedding light on the interplay between human psychology and investment behavior, Jason Zweig's Your Money and Your Brain equips you with the knowledge and tools to navigate the financial markets more prudently. The key takeaways from this book include recognizing the significance of emotional influences, the importance of trusting your feelings while also engaging your analytical side, and learning to control what you can in the investment process. Furthermore, understanding the role of anticipation, greed, and risk perceptions helps to lay the foundation for sound investment choices. As you assimilate these valuable insights, remember to cultivate a consistent investment discipline and remain mindful of the pitfalls of overconfidence, familiarity, and illusion of control. By adopting a balanced and reflective investment approach, you can foster a deeper understanding of yourself as an investor while enhancing the effectiveness of your decision-making processes.